Right, here goes. Uh, first, you need to download this IMG from GPX. Uh, it's a third party software, but I'll post link up to direct download on the YouTube video on the comments or somewhere. But I'll talk you through that later. Uh, right, the reason for this is. Uh, right. Like me, I've got all the lanes and the peaks marked up individually. They're all tracks, but you can only display one at a time on a GPS. So if I was following a, a track around the peaks, say for instance, uh, peaks with Doug and Cookie, what I did with them last, uh, copy that and then paste it into my peaks all lanes folder paste it'll look like that so if I'm out and about and I'm following this red track usually there's only the red track displayed on a GPS but if I wanted to see any of these lanes around here and maybe shoot down this one month's lead then you can't really see them if you're not familiar with area on a OS map because a big dark green line is a lot easier to see than than these little black lines with red dots in the the lines stand out a lot more uh, Another quick tip, while you're scrolling and doing all this kind of stuff, it, it, it's quite handy to just flick between maps to get it to view easier and move easier and all that kind of malarkey. So if I just keep it on City Navigator, lowest for a minute. So I've got them all colour coded. Uh, let me just get rid of that. Uh, Track with cookie, get rid of that. Yeah, I've got them all colour coded. Greens are the ones that you can do or used to be able to do. Blue are the one, very naughty ones. Uh, so are the pink ones. Blue are the mainly, they're usually the ones that used to be open that are still rideable. So, if you're that way inclined, of course. So that's why I label them that colour. But, uh, all it does, this program, this third party software, is it draws all these lines on, say, like a, a tracing paper. It just does it as another map overlay. So, where you've got your maps here, it'll just make another one of them as an overlay. But to do that, if I wanted to put all these tracks on my GPS at one point, at the same time as the look on here then what I'd do is uh, you'll have to bear with me I might have to backtrack a few times but say hours of editing but uh, if you highlight this folder because this is everything I've got in this folder I keep them all separate peaks all lanes peaks waypoints each waypoint's new. Checked routes but unconfirmed and peaks received routes, peaks routes, peaks routes one, new routes, peaks to do is uh, tracks I've made up that I want to do what I've not done yet. But anyway, all these you want to display on as GPS. So what I do is uh, Highlight Peaks All Lanes folder and then File, Export. Sorry, wrong, wrong, ignore that. Uh, peaks All Lanes. I've got uh, waypoints in there as well, just ignore them. But all the tracks are listed on the left here, tracks. So what you do is left click the first track scroll to the end hold shift on your keyboard click the last track 
and it highlights them all. So what you do then is file, export, export selection. Keyframes uh, temp. I've uh, I've done a separate folder for this video purpose, but you, as you can see, you've got Isle of Man lakes, peaks. The, this is all for this program. But I select my folder. It'd usually be called peaks, whatever, uh, and then press save. So now it's exported all them tracks to one file in that folder, which is there. And that's all you'd do if I was to send somebody them, all them tracks, I'd select them all as I've just did, export them to one file like this, and then attach that file to uh, an email to send somebody. So anyway, it's put all them one file there. So then what you do is get rid of both of them, open your AMG from GPX software up, which looks like this. The TYP file is different options for how you want the lines displayed uh, at the minute I'm favouring that one thick TYP there's all different options there might be better ones I've not found them all yet but anyway select thick TYP for now make sure that's checked include creation of uh, GMAP SUP image file map ID leave that as it is, I think that's one, two, three, four, five as standard but the, you have to label the name on the computer and the name on the device both the same but different every time, if I were to do one for Wales then I'd, I'd do it Wales and the date I'm going to do it to keep it different so we'll call this Peaks, because I've already done one saying Peaks Weds, it won't let me do it again. So I'll do this as Peaks Video. And Video again. So now what I do is it's drag and drop. So what I do is find the file what you just saved from Basecamp left click drag to anywhere along here right just put it in there 229 tracks that. you can you can either have a uh, track colour use track colour as it's displayed on your uh, base camp and it'll show the same on your GPS you can change it to all different things I just use, use track colour right. you can also insert waypoints on here which would come up with how many waypoints there and what type but I prefer to use me waypoints properly and not mess about putting them in with this because it gets confusing so stick with your waypoints on your GPS save them to your GPS all that malarkey so now I've done that press create map it asks you where you want to save this map so find the folder where you've just saved that one file from your base camp what you've just dragged into this software and press I've selected that and press OK creating map it always says an error has occurred but it always works so just press OK and 
the map is created okay so now you go back to that original folder and now it looks like this don't know what they do that's the data you've just saved from your base camp and then dragged into image from GPX that was your original file now it's created these three new ones the three new ones uh, the only one you want is a GMAP sup so what I do then is rename it because every GMAP sup file on your maps in your GPS has to be labelled something different as in your GMAP sup city navigator, GMAP sup GB discoverer blah 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 so I rename that rename video save now what I do right click on that copy and then I'm just plugging my GPS in it weren't plugged in Right. Just wait for me. Hold it to come up on here. When you're ready. Right, what I've found is it'll always come up with two like this. Should we have Oh, I'm going to sneeze then. Hang on. There's always two come up one for your memory card, one for your unit. I always put this file in my unit and not on my memory card. It seems to work better when you put it on your unit, which is this one. So I'll get rid of memory card open unit up and because you've just right clicked and copied on your GMAP sub video which should really be called peaks video whatever but right click copy on that then once you've opened your Garmin folder up double click on that and then right click and paste in there now that uh, now on your GPS is now on your GPS as uh, as it looked like it did on Basecamp so I'm gonna have to switch over to my GPS just uh, give me a minute 